Hey guys, Jim from Measure Square here. In today's video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our Measure Square mobile app for Android. I'm running a beta version of this guy, so you may see a couple changes before we officially release this guy later in the year. We're going to go through creating a project, drawing some rooms, creating and applying products, changing the layout and some estimating settings, and then we'll generate a quote and a report at the end. To start off, We'll hit the plus icon at the bottom right. We can name this di diagram whatever we choose. So I'm just gonna name this 55 Broadway for our example today. Once I'm done, just click OK. And this will take us into our blank takeoff screen. So we more or less have a left to right workflow. We'll start at the top of our tools and kind of move on down the line. Applying some products, changing the estimating settings, creating a report and even sharing it at the end. To start off, we're going to first connect our Bluetooth laser. I have a Leica Disto D1 in my hand right now. And I'm going to tap on the tools icon, tap on distance meter. And we'll wait for a sec for it to scan, make sure, sure the Bluetooth is on. We'll see my Disto popping up. I'm just going to tap on it, take a moment to connect. We'll hear a little ping showing that's connected. So to jump right into it, to draw a room, we're going to go back to tools. And then we're going to tap on room by size. And this is the easiest way to draw a rectangle or square room. So we can just tap on the width to start off and we'll delete that measurement. Then since I have my disto connected, I'm going to shoot that measurement and I'll see a drop in right there. I'll tap OK. Do the same for the length. Delete that measurement. Shoot another one. And then tap OK. And then we're done. Hit done at the top right. We'll see we have our room on the screen. Now to zoom in it's just a pinch to zoom like you would on your phone opposite motion to zoom out we need to move the screen around to put our finger outside of the room to move the room around just put our finger in the middle of the room and slide that guy around very easily now we'll get a couple more rooms on here so we'll go into our free draw mode now so if we have more odd shaped rooms this is really easy to use as well tap on the tools go to free draw and we'll see a bunch of tools at the bottom we're just going to do some basic drawing in this video. So I'm going to pick my starting point here. Once I let go, that's where I'm going to be standing in the room. I'm just going to swipe up to draw my first wall. And then I'm going to shoot my measurement again with my distal laser. And I will see that dimension change on the screen. Then I can make my turn, shoot my measurement again. And then if we're still drawing a basic shape, I can just hit close at the bottom right. And we'll have that room drawn. Now if it's a little bit more of a complicated room, I can pick another starting point to draw my next room. Now I'm just going to use my finger to draw this out instead of using my distal the whole time. And we can easily just draw around. Now let's say we need to switch our starting point when we're in our free draw mode. I need to continue drawing from the other side instead. I can just tap switch at the bottom here. And we'll see a little purple dot jump down here now. Then I can just keep on drawing as well. Now if we ever have an odd angled wall in a room, Let's say it's an angle that's not 45 degrees. We can just leave that to our last wall when we're drawing. Just hit close at the bottom right, and Measure Square will automatically finish that for us. Now we'll exit this mode by hitting the checkbox at the top left. And now I'm just going to drag these rooms around to line them up correctly on here. So as I move this guy around, we'll see the little green highlights pop up or a green dot, just showing that snapping to that corner very easily. We'll do the same with the other room. And again, I can move these around as much as I need to to line these up. Now, if I need to add, let's say, a door in here, I can easily go into my side panel or widget panel on the left side. If that's condensed. You can just tap the little arrow and it'll pop right back out. I'll zoom in to get a little better view. I can just drag a door and drag that right over. You'll see the dimensions pop up. I can let go to line that guy up. We'll have this pop up come up just showing we can edit some of the details of the door. So I'll just hit back. I'll add one more in here. And then hit back again. Now to throw some products in here, I'm just going to go into the products tab. And we already have some products created, but to show you how easy it is to create one, I'm just going to hit the plus towards the top. And I'll just create a uh, roll good. So let's just do a carpet real quick. Name that carpet one, whatever you'd like. Click OK. And I can edit the details of this product as well. So I can edit display color, add any vendor info. I can do any add-ons if I'd like to, if you want to add on a pad there as well. 
And then if we do want to adjust the width of the roll length, we can do that towards the bottom. If there's a pattern repeat on this carpet or any type of roll good, you can enter those details at the bottom under horizontal and vertical repeat. Once I'm done here, I'll hit done. This will show up in our product catalog on the left side. Anything I add here will always be here until I delete it or change it myself. Adding our products just as simple as dragging and dropping. So I'm just going to grab that carpet one, drag it over. We'll see our seams already popping up, represented by those blue dashed lines. And then let's see what else we got in our catalog. Let's say we need to add some base as well. I can drag and drop that into the middle of the room. Automatically we'll go around the printer represented by those dashed lines. All right. And if you see a little arrow at the bottom, right where it says roll cut and cut list, I'm going to drag this guy up. I'm going to condense my catalog just for a better view. This is going to be our cut sheet that's always at the bottom. So whatever roll good you have um, in a room, when you select that room, the cut sheet will change according to that product. Now, if I need to adjust these seams or the direction of the roll good, we can either uh, use our finger to drag these seams around just to move the seams in a different location. We'll see our cut sheet change at the bottom. If we need to change the direction of the roll good in the rooms, we can easily go to our estimate button at the top, select set horizontal layout in our case, and you'll see it shift as horizontal direction. We'll see the seams change along with the arrows. Easily tap on that again under estimate and do vertical to set it back. And we'll see our waste percentages changing at the bottom along with our quantities. We can also adjust the cut sheets manually. I can easily just press my finger on one of these cuts and drag it around myself if I need to rearrange it into a more desirable location for our installers. Now, if we need to change any of our estimating settings on the fly, we can tap on the estimate again, tap optimize. And this is where we can change some of the settings for this particular roll good. So if we want to add a cut margin to it, we see I already have it at three inches. I can change the where that margin is. So I have three inches on the length at the top. So we can always tap on these areas to adjust this ourselves. Before we move into the reports and worksheet, we can also, for on site with the customer, show them a really uh, great 3D view to get a better look at their house. So if you tap on views at the top, we'll have a couple different options in here. If you need to toggle certain views off, you can go to view options. For our case, we're just going to go 3D view. And then we'll see a 3D view of this building. And I can use my finger just to manipulate this guy to get a better angle. So this is a really great option to show your customer when you're out in the field with them. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the quotes and report to wrap this up. I'm just going to switch diagrams so we have a little bit more data in there for this guy. So I'm just going to tap on reports, hit forms, and this is where we can create a quote for the customer. So we have some options at the bottom where we can edit these items that are in here. We can add our own from scratch if we need to. One of the great options we have is to tap on signature. Since we're out in the house with the customer, we can have them sign right on the spot, right on the screen with their finger, hit done. And now we'll see when we hit preview, that signature is right at the bottom for their approval. And they'll, we'll see the uh, all the information in there as well. So this is a PDF that you can share. You can email this out. You can send this to a Bluetooth printer if you have that on the van as well. But the easiest way always, if you have an internet connection, you can just shoot them an email directly from the app by tapping the share icon at the top right. Now if you need to send a, let's say, a report to, let's say, our installers or someone back in the office, we can tap on report, hit print. And this will create a PDF as well. This will be more of a summary without any pricing. So we'll see the summary at the top, the customer info as well. We'll see our diagram on here as well that we drew. And then we have our 3D view as well attached to it. Now, if you need to share this, same workflow. Tap share at the top right. And we'll see that Gmail icon, like I was saying, as the easiest way to do so, or the other email app as well. All right, now I'm going to tap out of here. Now, if you ever need to share this with another MeasureSquare user, you can easily tap Share from the screen, hit Share Project File, and it'll bring up the same menu to share via email. All right, that wraps up this video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be able to get updates as we add more Android videos in the future.